You probably won't notice them amid the hoopla in Denver. But mixing with convention delegates will be super secret government teams charged with detecting radiation laced explosives, the ultimate terrorist weapon. We just got an alarm. CBS News got an exclusive look at these nuke finders from the National Nuclear Security Administration. The system is analyzing the data. As they trained with an alert from a parked car. Radium 226. We'll have people walking around with various detectors and devices. They'll come up to people, they'll look for anything unusual. But the nuke SWAT teams are only part of the defense against improvised nuclear weapons and dirty bombs. So the closer we are to the ground, the closer we are to the radiation, the better we can see it. From the air, Department of Energy scientists can also zero in on nuclear threats. We rode along on this training flight as undercover scientists searched for planted radioactive cesium. I got elevated cows, Mark. We can't show you the cesium, but a spike on a radiation monitor directed the chopper right to the target. And what that says to me is that I have a radioactive isotope emitting energy. This is more than likely where the source is. In big cities like Washington, nukes and dirty bombs could be difficult to detect. Naturally occurring radiation is everywhere, given off by the granite from office buildings and the tombstones at Arlington National Cemetery. So scientists are also working to chart existing radiation sources. It's important to establish a baseline of what radiation is there already. So in case that there is an incident, uh, we won't be led astray by anomalies. The nation's top two terror targets, Washington and New York, are already mapped. Chicago is next. Skeptics downplay the risk of terrorist nukes, but the consequences of an attack are unthinkable. So these radiation hunters warn, we can't afford to stop looking for the nuclear threat. Bob or CBS News, Washington.